Hi everybody, it's Joey, and I'm here to- oh, let me push this back a little bit. Okay. Hi everybody, it's Joey, and I'm here to do a story time video. Now, I filmed a story time video about a few days ago. I have not uploaded it yet, but I will upload it, um... But I am gonna- I'm so sorry. Oh my god. I wonder where it is. I think it's... Where's the recorder? Like, is it... Ah, right, that's fine. Okay, so, I'm gonna do a story time video. I did a story time video the other day. I filmed a, um, how my best friend stabbed me in the back type of thing. I never told the story of my best, best friend in the whole wide world. She really stabbed me in the back and really hurt my feelings. And I'm still partly not over it. So... That's another story time video. This story time video is going to be how I got kicked out of high school literally a month before graduating. So, before I even get started into the whole, the, the actual story, I want to just say, I went to a special school. Uh, the school was called Lifeline. Now, if you want, you can look it up. But I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm not ashamed of it, because it was a part of my life for many years, and, you know, I'm not ashamed to tell you the truth. You know what I mean? I'm never ashamed to tell you my, my truth. And um, basically, I went to a special school called Lifeline, and it was like a school for kids with mental illness or special, um, special needs. Me, on the other hand, I was there because of a learning disability. I had a learning disability, and I didn't, I don't grasp things when it comes to, um, Education, I guess you can say those type of classes very easily. So I was there. Um, but by the way, lipstick of the day is Androgyny, the Bamo by Jeffrey Star. Okay. So, anyways, perfume is forever red by um, Bath and Body Works. Okay. So I went to this school, and I was there from the fall of 2003 until the spring of 2010. So I was there for what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was there for like seven years. So yeah, it was a big chunk of my life. And um, I was there before I, I got into high school, during high school, and I left high school when I graduated high school. Because they don't, they don't take college graduates. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have stayed for college anyways if they did. But um, after high school, you have to leave Lifeline. They don't have a college program. So basically, the program is from pre-K up until high school. And I was there from, I think, the 6th to 7th grade up until 12th grade. Now, my experience at Lifeline wasn't the best. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't horrible. Um, you know, each year was different for me. In the beginning, I was, like, crying a lot. I was depressed. I, don't know, I just was going through a funk. Then I got into, like, this mode where I was quiet and I really didn't say much and then I got into another mode like after my mother died I started getting like angry and just like fighting with everyone it just was it was just a really crazy experience at Lifeline I'm never gonna forget it for as long as I live um you know it was the best and then the worst time of my life. Like, it, it was it was a lot. A lot of drama, a lot of heartache, and uh, just crazy. It was crazy. I mean, I can't even I tell you everything in one video because it would be too long. But the moral of the story is, is that I saw a lot of shit in that school. A lot of shit. I mean, people were... I mean, I'm, I'm a cuckoo too, don't get me wrong, but the kids that go to that program are... So a lot of them are clinically insane. You know what I mean? Like, one of my friends, the one that has that boyfriend that's crazy, I met her at Lifeline. Another friend, a mutual friend of ours, I, I didn't meet her at Lifeline, but she went to Lifeline. And she actually still prank calls me, not prank calls me, but she calls me up on the phone and from the mental institution. I have to change my number. She keeps calling me, telling me to go after myself. But that's a whole other story. I don't know if I even told you guys about that. I should probably tell you guys about that in a different video. But yeah, she's still calling me from the mental institution. I'm going to have to literally block her. I blocked her number a million times, but she's still calling me from different numbers. But anyways, 
Um, in the school, I did see a lot of shit, and there was a lot of, like, you know, they were, they were crazy people. I mean, they were. I mean, I'm sorry, but they were. There was a lot of mentally challenged people, and I, I was one of them. I'm not going to say I was the worst of them all, but, um, yeah, I mean, compared to other people, I mean. And then there was a special room in the school called the quiet room, where people really, really, really acted up. They got thrown in the quiet room. It's kind of like that room that Miss, Miss Trunchbull had in Matilda, except for they didn't have, like, nails in, in, in the room, and it's, it wasn't, like, that small of a closet room, but it was kind of like, it was a small white room. It was like a white padded room. It was like, it was scary being in that room because uh, people who went in that room was, they had an outburst and needed to get, they needed to get locked in that room. So <clears throat> I only went in there once. And the one time I went in there is, is the story I'm about to tell you. So I was in 12th grade, my final year at Lifeline and there was literally only five people in my class. I mean, seriously. And, you know, I made friends, whatever have you. I'm trying to think the last few months. Um, I got into a fight with someone. A fight with someone. It, it happened during, I think, spring break. We were messaging on Facebook. He was like, he started, he started fighting with me. He started cursing me out or whatever. I started screaming at me that... I said something that I didn't, I don't know. He, he was starting to get involved in something that had nothing to do with him. And I didn't even know what he was talking about. Scouts honor. Scouts, I swear to God. I didn't even know what he was talking about. But I was starting to get offended because he was like cursing me out. So I said, you know, you go after yourself. I don't know why you're even coming at me, blah, blah, blah. So when we got to school, this is probably April, this is probably, yeah, March, April, after spring break of my 12th, of my 12th grade. And he, and he came up to me and he said, I'm fucking here. And I said, okay, well, I'm here too. And then he punched me across the face. Literally punched me across the face. Now, this was a deliberate... I mean, he started this whole entire fight. Like, literally punched me square in the face. I had, like, a black and blue eye. Like, not like, well, this is pretty. This is the androgyny palace. It didn't look like this. It wasn't this pretty. But it was, like, a huge... It was, like, swell, it was swelling up, whatever. So after he punched me in the face... I immediately, he had like long hair, he had like hair up to like, uh, probably up to his neck. And I, he started to walk away from me after he punched me in the face. I don't know if he thought I was knocked out cold, but no, I didn't, I did not get knocked out. I, I like literally went, I, he punched me and I went like that. And then I immediately grabbed him from the back of his head because he was walking away from me. I grabbed him and I pulled him down and I started punching him in the head. And then I kind of like almost like flung him like a rag doll across the room but then people like teachers got involved and obviously broke us up i had a really big swollen eye um i was about to get kicked out of school however i i got i was put in the quiet room a few days after i think the next day because sometimes you go into the quiet room because if you get into a fight and then it's kind of like a detention type of thing that like you sit in the quiet room for the day or whatever so I had that the next day, and then he had it the day afterwards, I think. So I sat in the quiet, whatever, I sat in the quiet room. I did not start that fight. I don't think I deserve, I still to this day, I know I got into a lot of fights in that school. I, this specific fight, I did not deserve to be in the quiet room. I will say that until the day I die. They were 100% wrong for putting me in the quiet room and, and thinking I was wrong in that aspect. I was about to get kicked out of school because of that. And I'm like, no, I did not start that fight. They didn't kick me out because I really did not start that fight. He started it with me. But I don't even think I should have belonged in the quiet room, honestly. I did nothing wrong. He came up to me and he hit me first. Anyways. So then that blew over. And then something else happened. So what happened was, it was actually happened on this very exact camera. Wait, let me see. Oh, okay, I want to see, like, if the, okay, the battery's not going to die. It's 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. So, it happened on this camera. So what happened was, I, I took obviously the yellow bus. It was a school bus, a yellow bus. And on the bus there were kids on there because, you know, Lifeline had kids from pre-K up until like, you know, up until 12th grade. So I had some people up from the first and second grade on my bus. And the matron was out. The matron was, um, I don't know, she was absent that day. 
And I had my, I don't know why I had my camera that day. I wanted to, I don't, I didn't bring my camera to school every day. So I don't know why I had my camera in school this day, specific day, but I did. And what happened was, was that they were acting up the kids in, on the bus. Like they were screaming, carrying on, carrying on, going nuts. I recorded them to show the matron. Originally, I recorded them on the video to show the matron and be like, this is how they were acting up. Live in proof. This is how they were acting up while you were gone, which was not my place. But I think because I was the oldest one on the bus, I was like, I just want to like, like try to, I was trying to calm them down, like in the video, I was like trying to calm them down. But I did show the matron and she was floored anyways. So this was 100% my fault. I don't know what possessed me to do this. Again, I was young, I was stupid, I was naive, whatever it is. And I own up to all my mistakes. So what happened was, was that my old YouTube channel, wasn't this one, my old YouTube channel, I, re I uploaded the video of them fighting and screaming on the bus which was a billion percent my fault. I don't know who, how they found out because no one knew about my YouTube channel, but they found out and they approached me at school and they said, listen, you need to delete these videos. You can't be uploading videos of, of kids on the, of, uh, on the bus. Like that's, that's prohibited. You can't do that. And I was like, you're right. I said, I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what made me do it. I said, I'm so sorry. I immediately, immediately deleted the videos, and I regret recording those videos ever since. It started, I started recording, I started to record the videos on the bus to show the matron how the kids were acting, but then I ended up uploading it on my YouTube channel, which I don't know why I did, I don't know if I did it for views or because I thought it was, like, gonna get views, I don't know, I mean, it was really stupid, and I was ridiculous, and I, re I deleted them right away, there's no no more of those videos out there in the world. It's completely done. They're completely gone. You know what I mean? But they were really pissed about that, and rightfully so. And I think it was like, this was in May, the beginning of May, and they pulled me aside and they said, listen, we need to talk to you because, you know, you had a couple instances, instances, incidents this year. And, you know, again, um, you know, again, you're, you're in trouble and, and, and doing something. So, we're gonna have to kick you out. You're gonna have to leave. You're no longer you're no longer allowed in the school. And I think a part of them was wrong for doing this because I feel like I was just a month away from graduating and you know, I deleted the videos, but then another side, yeah, I did really F up really badly. So but I did get kicked out. But they told me they said, Listen, you can take the SAT SATs, you can take the final exams, and if you pass, you will be able to graduate and you will be able to attend the graduation ceremony at Lifeline. But you're not gonna be able to, you know, come to the school other than that day of graduation. I said, Okay. So I came to I came back to the school oh, and, and for the taking the test. So a month later I came back to the school to take the test and then I left right away. And um, I felt like a um, I felt like a I don't know, I felt like a, a fugitive. Like, I had to, like, run in and run right out. Like, I wasn't allowed in the school. So, um, I ended up passing the test. So I ended up going there for the graduation day. And, um, I can tell they all, they were treated, they were distant towards me. They, you know, I didn't feel like a warm welcome or whatever, which I don't blame them. So, I graduated, I left, and that's it. That's the story. I got kicked out of my school a month before graduating, and I wasn't allowed back ever again after the graduation day even. But then I did come back years later one time. I think it was a couple years ago. I went with a friend of mine, and we went to support our mutual friend, the one who's prank calling me, not prank calling me, but calling me from the mental institution. And I went to their her graduation, and I saw everyone. And, you know, they were all very nice. They said hello, whatever. I was welcome back in the school. I mean, I guess because time heals all wounds. And, you know, it was years ago and the videos are deleted. Like, you know what I mean? I know it was still out there, but the videos are deleted. So, yeah, I mean, I wanted to tell you guys this story because I felt like it was necessary to. I wanted to tell you about my Lifeline years. And I'll probably go in more depth of my time at Lifeline. But this was just the final year at Lifeline and the final couple of months before I graduated. I wanted to talk to you guys about because I was very upset with myself. I was very disappointed in myself that I uploaded those videos, recorded them to begin with. I shouldn't have recorded them, but then uploading them on my old YouTube channel was just, it was, it was horrible. It really was. And I shouldn't have done that. And I was young and stupid and I'll never do something like that again. But I learned from my mistakes and 
I'm a better person now and I don't do any of that stuff anymore I like like that's why I don't like talking about it because like that's the old me like that's not me anymore I went through so many different phases and I finally came out and blossomed into a butterfly I guess because I'm nothing like that anymore but um that was my start I hope you guys enjoyed it's hard to talk about and probably hard to hear um but you can look up lifeline now the school is still standing, I think. The school is still standing. Um, yeah, you can look up that school. I'll probably go into more depth, more sto another story time of my first few years at the school and what, like, what, like there's a lot of, a lot of crazy drama and stuff that happened in, in, in life like that. Oh my God, that I've never spoken about before. Not even to close friends of mine. I've never spoken to, to like, this is the first time I've really spoken to you spoken out loud about this in years honestly i haven't spoken about something like this in so long because it's embarrassing okay so i love you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed the story time i'm gonna upload the other story time on my best friend's damn in the back so i'll upload these two story times probably back to back tonight or tomorrow i'm gonna go now probably get something to eat and then go to school funny enough i'm talking about school like my time at school when i'm about to go to school but no i'm not trust me my time in queen's college so far knock on wood all my scholarship, even Queensboro, like, has been not bad at all. Like, has been good for the most part. So, thank God for that. I mean, knock on wood, you know. Right now I'm going to go to the school and, like, something's going to happen. <laughs> um, no, but, um, you know. But I think that's with everyone. I think high school in general is just drama and even Lifeline. Lifeline's not a typical high school, but, you know there's still drama there of course and like high school is drama to begin with high school high school is the best years of your life and then the worst years of your life but yeah i'm gonna go i love you guys so much um again lipstick of the day is androgyny the bamo by jeffree star his lipstick collection really love this color a lot love it with this makeup look i have the androgyny palette on i actually have androgyny on my eyeshadow from the palette on my lids so i was like let me match it with the lip uh, I'm going to do an updated Jeffree Star collection video coming very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. By the way, I already finished my Perfect Pumpkin, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Body Care in the Cream, and the Fine Fragrance Mist that's going to be in the full empties. So now I'm working on my Marshall Pumpkin Latte Cream and the Fine Fragrance Mist. So I'm working on that net currently, and I have it on now, the cream. Mmm. Mmm, so good. I, I finished Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin really fast. I was like, no, I gotta finish it really quick because I want to go right onto Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte because I really want to use this this fall. So yeah, now I'm up to this. Um, so that's good. I'm using a body care really quick this fall. So in the fall empty should be a big body care empty in the fall coming probably. I usually do my fall empties in November, sometime in November. All right, I love you guys. Now I'm gonna go, okay? Love you guys, bye.